Hey everyone, so in today's video, I wanted to give you guys an essentials list that you'll need for setting up your classroom. Last year, I compiled a list of things that were a great thing to bring and some things that I wish I brought. I'm starting to set up my classroom tomorrow. So I figured maybe some of you are also going to be starting to set up your classroom very soon, especially new teachers. So I wanted to help you guys with that so that your setup process goes really smoothly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so the first thing is you wanna make sure you're bringing your own tools, like having your own hammer, your own drill, screwdriver, measuring tape, all the things. You wanna make sure you have your own tools with you. And a lot of it is probably because as a new teacher, you probably got a lot of new stuff that you want to set up, like drawers, a chair, some shelves, whatever it may be. And you don't want to be hunting down the custodian for those materials or someone else who's setting up their classroom. You want to make sure you bring that stuff with you so it's way more efficient and easy. Like even right now, I'm thinking I don't think I need it just because a lot of my stuff is already built but I'm like, I know if I don't bring it, I will probably regret it, even just for like maybe measuring tape, I don't know. So make sure you bring your toolkit with you. Okay, another thing you'll need and probably end up loving is having magnetic tape or magnetic stickers. These are so great. I made sure I ordered some the other day for this week because they are so perfect for having any decor on your whiteboard. So, so if you bought borders for your whiteboard and wanna put them up on your whiteboard, Doing the magnetic tape it makes it so easy. You can just peel and stick it on and then it'll be magnetic to the whiteboard and make it super easy. There were just so many things I used it for, like my schedule cards. It was super easy to put the magnetic sticker to those ones that I had already laminated, move them around throughout the week for whatever schedule I needed. It was, made it super easy. Even for like my hand signals, I had those magnetic to the whiteboard, which made it very easy. So I love that for sure. Okay, another thing you'll need is probably a stapler. This was something I needed last year because most of the things I stapled into the wall, but it's super important that you find out your school's policy when it comes to decorating because at my new school, since it is more of a newer school, we aren't allowed to staple anything into the wall, let alone nail anything. So I would just still have a stapler with you just in case because it was definitely something I needed last year and did not have. Next thing that you'll really want along with that is probably command strips. Again, I think it really is something that is an either or type of situation because last year I didn't really use command strips and this year, since I'm not allowed to staple anything into the walls, I will need some command strips to get those things on the wall. So I'll probably get some maybe tomorrow. I don't think the first day I'm gonna be doing much hanging and decorating on the walls. I think it'll be a lot more cleaning out of cabinets, reorganizing cabinets and things like that, but I'll probably buy some tomorrow. But having command strips for hanging things on your wall, like I have a mirror I wanna hang up, I have a clock I need to hang up. You don't wanna worry about the nail or staple situation if you're not allowed to do that to your classroom walls. The next thing I should have included with the stapler, but last year when I needed a staple remover and that was one thing I wish I had because I was constantly having to pick through all of those mistakes I made when I stapled things into the wall and they were super uneven. I was like having to constantly fix things. It was such a pain. I wish that I had some stapler removers. If you're gonna be stapling things into your wall, make sure you have yourself a staple remover on hand, especially the ones on Amazon that I've gotten. They're just like a long stick and you can just easily pull those out. They make it super easy. So I would definitely make sure you pack that with you as well. Okay, another thing that I really enjoyed having last year for classroom setup was painter's tape. And I had seen this trick on TikTok where people said like, especially hanging up your like alphabet or something, or if you want to have some decor on the wall and you wanna make sure it's placed how you want it, putting it on there with painter's tape made it super easy that way because it was able to be removed without any issues and with the expectation that you laminate all your decor. So with all the decor that I had laminated, 
using that painter's tape was really nice because I would just put it on the wall, quickly move things, and if it was in a spot that I really liked, I would just quickly staple it in there. So that was really nice. And another thing too was like this really strong heavy duty tape, which I don't know what it's called, but I made sure I bought some more of it because that was like the best thing for me. Last year for so many different decor pieces that I had, like for putting my cards that I had got from my 10 card rolling drawer, I used that type of really strong tape. It was kind of like a gooey type thing and it made it super easy because it would not fall off the walls, especially I had posters that I had in my classroom and when I did that with tape, they would just fall and fall and fall and it was so annoying. But when I had this special strong tape, it did not move the entire year. Removing it at the end of the year wasn't too much of a pain too. I was able to pull it off and the ones that didn't come off really clean, the kids enjoyed peeling that off the wall and it wasn't that big of a deal. So I feel like this year I would probably use that even more because of the whole not being able to staple into the wall. So I'll probably use so much more of it this year because it's just a really nice stronghold tape. I feel like I realized even in apartments or dorms, like some people prefer you use like command strips because if it pulls off the paint, they prefer to paint. And some people are like, don't use command strips because we'd rather patch up a hole. It's just really preference. So like if the paint comes off, it's not too big of a deal. So yeah. Okay, and then my last thing is push pins. Push pins are great to have on hand too for putting anything up on your bulletin boards and decorating it that way. That also makes it super, super easy. And yeah, those are all of my classroom essentials that you guys will probably need for classroom setup. I feel like there weren't many videos like this last year and I was like, oh my gosh, I need to create this because I wish I knew to bring all these things and there were some things that I loved. So if you guys have taught and have any other things you can think of of what a classroom setup essential was for you, please comment it down below to help anyone else out, especially since that classroom setup season is approaching. So if you guys enjoyed today's video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye guys.